83% of world societies are polygamous with men having multiple wives. 16% are monogamous and 0.47% <laughs> are polyandrous with women having multiple partners, husbands. Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Spirit Soul Sense, information for your soul. I am Charisse, and I wanted to answer the question about why polyandry is so rare. I know of one society where there are many more men than women. The ratio is very off, and so those women are able to have multiple husbands. It is not typical for most societies to have many, many more men than women. If there's anything, it's around 50-50, and maybe the women, it's up to like 53%, uh, and the men is like 47%. But generally speaking, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, what men have created, I mean, the world we live in right now has been created by men. And so because we live in a patriarchal society, men get to set the rules. So what man do you know? Uh, what man do you know? that wants to have multiple husband mates <laughs> with his one woman. Generally speaking, most men are not interested in multiple men. They're just not. I was reading this article that was pretty interesting about, they, they described it as non-fraternal um, polygamy, where there is multiple men for one woman. And typically when that has happened and men do not know who's the father, they usually do not invest in the young, which is, I was comparing that to this article also talked about cuckolding, uh, which is usually I think a word used in porn, but the idea that a man is raising offspring that does not belong to him, unknowingly. <laughs> Unknowingly, I think is the point here. And the article mentioned about 13 to 20% of men in America are raising a child that they think is theirs, but it's not, but it's not. Which, you, you know, I see on my channel that women cheat as often as men. I really do believe that. They just don't usually get caught. And there's not always a baby that results from the cheating. But the idea that there are almost 20% of men raising children that don't belong to them makes me think that if men weren't so uh, testosterone-y, I don't know, what causes men to not want to raise another offspring, right? And I think that's sort of biology, how we're wired. Uh, men in the wild, men in the wild. Males in the wild compete for a female's attention so that they can spread their seed. The whole idea is that we are continuing our lineage, lineage, continuing our lineage. Uh, and so if there's another child, right? What do, what do uh, male lions, you know, the owner of the pride, what do they kill? If they, they're really coming in, they're killing all the cubs because I, I, I mean, do we not have feelings about that? They're killing all the cubs because they want to be the one to spread their seed. They want their genes to live on. And so they get rid of the cubs so that they can make new ones, right? That have their seed. I think uh, men have not changed much from when, you know, the society has been uh, founded. Um, I, I think maybe they don't fight their biology as much. Um, and, and they did such a job in controlling women, which is why we have feminism. I'm not an anti-feminist, but I'm also not a feminist. I think the, the feminist movement is exactly what we need to create balance in the world. Uh, but I, I, I think, you know, young people coming up in this world are trying to figure out like how to, how to do it. And you have a lot more options now than your ancestors did. If you're a woman did in the past because women couldn't vote, they couldn't own property, they couldn't really do much. And that's because men wanted it to be that way. They wanted women to have a particular role. But you know, there are some women who have more masculine energy than feminine energy, um, who want to do more hands-on things, who want to lead and build and all that stuff. And I think people should be able to have the option of doing whatever they want. Do I think uh, polyandry will become not so rare in the future? I I don't I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I think we may not be realizing how maybe practice it is now because 
polygamy in itself is not exactly um you know praised in the western world we're very much a we should be monogamous society one woman to one man uh, well, you know i'm not exactly one woman to one man i i respect the way you you do your relationships and, and you know i'm an lgbt ally so the the one partner to one partner uh raising children you know i also really enjoy an extended family system because it takes a village to raise a child especially a healthy happy one uh i think polyandry right a, a woman with multiple men is something that happens and so it's, it's not something i've never seen uh it's just something that's not mainstream and i also don't think most women right because the, the biology of men is i want to share my seed um, I want to, you know, spread amongst however many I can. But I think the biology of women is one that's very much more picky um, in who she risks her life for to spread the seed. Uh, and not necessarily wanting to have a harem of men. Uh, is harem inherently female? A harem of men uh, to expose herself to more illnesses, disease, um, you know, violence maybe i i don't think most women would jump on the train of i want multiple men but i i don't think it would be 0.4 percent right i i think it would probably maybe be closer to the the 20 percent of men who are already raising men's other men's children you know and that right most women right 80 percent of women just want one man um, or want the pick of pick the pick the the highest <laughs> I don't want to say highest value <laughs> uh, But most women want the best meal to risk her life to spread the seed uh, and most men Is it most men most men want to be very? Um, most men want to be the one raising their own kids, right? Most men are not interested in, in raising other people's kids. I don't know if it's 80%. I don't know what the percentage on that is, but I would say uh, the, the way the world is right now is because of men. The reason polyandry of multiple boyfriends, husbands is not mainstream is because, you know, there's been a lot of shame to women to, who are very sexual. Um, you know, the biggest consumers of porn are men, but men are, you know, want prostitution to stay illegal. Maybe want porn to be illegal. It's really, really wild out there. You know, make it make sense. I don't know. What do you think about polyandry? Do you think it's more common than we think? Is it so rare? <laughs> Do you think it'd be different if all the men weren't all in charge? Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.